Oh, hello. Hey guys. Today I'm going to show you a super cool, very quick little trick to add infinite amount of detail to your images, especially in the shadows where you think there is nothing left. Do subscribe, click the bell icon, that will give you notifications every single time I upload a video. I upload every week and sometimes more than that if I feel like it. This method of pulling out the details in the images does also add a sharpen, so be careful not to overdo it and make sure you use everything in moderation. So to do a surface blur, there's a few different steps involved and it does uh, take a bit to get your head around. So just stick with me and take notes if you need to. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to duplicate our uh, layer with the image on. So we just go ahead and duplicate that. Then what we need to do is we need to desaturate this layer. Now, how I do that, I use the keyboard shortcut. You don't have to do that. You could go right up into image adjustments and into hue saturation, but I use the, the shortcut all of the time, which is command and U on a Mac or control and U if you're on a Windows. Then drop your saturation to minus 100 and click OK. When you've done that, what you need to do is duplicate your desaturated layer. So we've duplicated that again. So now we've got two desaturated layers over here. And then the next thing that we need to do is invert our top layer. So to do that, I use again keyboard shortcut, which is command and I or control and I if you're on a Windows. This makes it look a bit weird. Don't worry about it too much at the moment. Then once you've done all of these steps over here with your layers and with the desaturated inverted layer selected, go into filter and then into blur and then choose surface blur. The settings that you have this on aren't really that important to be honest with you. Just uh, you know, find a middle ground uh, that you're happy with or just use the settings that you can see on your screen now. When you're happy with that, click OK. And then this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So with our inverted and desaturated layer that we've just put this surface blur on, you wanna set the layer style to vivid light. Once you've done that, you then wanna merge that layer down into your desaturated layer. So you right click on it and you choose merge down. So with this layer that you've got now, you go into the layer style and you choose overlay. And if you look at the image now, you should be able to see quite a big difference. Now, you don't have to leave it at 100%. It's, I've left it up at this uh, level just because it makes it a bit easier for you guys to see the difference on your screens. But um, you really want to fine tune that changing the opacity to a point that you're happy with for the image that's in front of you at the moment. So for me, that is about that. I don't really want to go much further than that. So what that essentially has done is it has given a sharpen of the image to the edges, but it has also pulled out a lot of lost detail. This is particularly good for dogs with interesting coats, textures, uh, that kind of thing, and also for different props. If you were using a coloured seamless background and also using this effect, you would want to go ahead and mask. I will add a masking uh, link up in the top there. You'd want to go ahead and mask the background off because it will add detail to any curves, edges, creases, or whatever that might be on the background as well. So you would mask away anything that you don't want to have this effect on. You can see how I've used this particular effect within the speed edits that I've got on my channel. They all tend to have some element of the surface blur sharpen effect within them. And uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and do a video on this particular image of a high pass sharpen too, because a high pass sharpen does actually go in and sharpen and bring out the edges. So I use these two in collaboration with each other and it gives an amazing result. Thanks so much for watching, really appreciate it. I also appreciate audience participation. So please do drop something in the comments below if you've got something that you would like to say. I'll see you again soon.